There are a few different ways you can customize your finder sidebar and make it more useful. You can add or remove default folders. You can add your own folders or get rid of the sidebar completely. Here is the finder sidebar. It appears on the left side of every finder window. Now it changes a bit with each release of macOS and here we are looking at it in Big Sur. If you don't want to use sidebar at all, you can easily hide it if you go to view menu and select hide sidebar. Or use keyboard shortcut option command S. But by default, the sidebar is on and offers you a few sections for quick navigation here on the left. In this case, it's favorites, then iCloud, locations and tags. Each section could be hidden and shown. You see if I move my cursor over the section, I can press the button here to hide or show. There are some items which are there by default, things like airdrop, applications, downloads, etc. You can change which ones are there by simply going to find the preferences and then go to sidebar tab. In there, you've got list of checkboxes. If you don't really care about having the recent folder listed here, you can get rid of it, same as I did. You can get rid of things you don't access all the time. Maybe untick music or downloads for example. But you are not limited only to this list of folders. You can add your own items. If I want to add a folder here, I can simply drag it from any finder window. For example, I can create my own recent folder where I put files I'm currently working on and manage it myself. Just drag it there and place it in your favorites. While placing it, watch the blue line. Release it only when you see the blue line, otherwise you will just drop the folder inside the other folder which is already there. It doesn't really matter where did you put it, because you can rearrange things in your favorites as well. Also, by dragging them in any order you want. Just note that you can't put your computer folder into iCloud section, and neither the opposite way, even though you can actually add iCloud folder into your favorites and then you can delete the whole iCloud section completely. So drag this one up and in Finder Preferences you can tick off these iCloud folders and it will disappear. Next section is called Locations. This is a place where you will see all your drives. Let's open the preferences again and I will show you which one you can remove. You can without any problems remove the computer and hard disk drives because you don't really need access to it. But make sure to keep the next two items. You might not use CDs or DVDs anymore. But in recent releases of macOS, the iOS devices fell under this category too. So if you connect your iPhone or iPad, you will not see it if this option is ticked off. An iPhone is currently synchronized using Finder, not iTunes anymore. So this section suddenly becomes very important. Let's move to the last section which is called Tags. Tags are something that most of you don't use that much. If you don't use it, you can just simply hide it. But if you want to remove the section completely, you have to go to find the preferences again. But this time, you need to switch to a tags tab. Tags are more complex, so it has its own tab here. Now to remove tags from the sidebar, you need to untick them all in here. You don't need to remove them using this minus button, just untick it. If you change your mind later and start using them, you'll be able to simply activate it again. And in next video, I will tell you how to actually use tags to organize your files and what are the advantages of doing that. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe to Apple Online Academy and I will see you there.